Can there be too many articulated models? I, I feel like I'm drowning in them at this point. There have been flexible models in 3D printing for years. This little Legato lizard was one of the first models of flexible that I printed. And then like this little guy came along, this monkey where you can change the color once and his little tail is flexible. And last year, MacGyver's articulated dragon came out. And I think at that point, we all went a little flexible crazy. We've got foxes and elephants that bounce on balls, and we've got crocodiles that are skeletons, and squirrels and monkeys that hang on things, and a bear that's a phone stand. And that's just the animals. There's really long lizards, and there's snakes with rattles, and there's turtles with lids that come off and stay on, and there's dolphins that stand up or lie down, and there's turtles that snap, and octopuses with beautiful legs, and Davy Jones with crazy spiky legs, and then there's frogs with really cool legs, and then there's a turtle that's also a grenade. And we can't forget about the dragons. There was originally the articulating dragon, and then the crystal dragon came around, and everyone loved that. There was a robot dragon, and a forest dragon, and then there was a dragon, and he had a beard that you styled, and then dragons got roses on their backs, which I thought was odd, but we all loved it. And there were tiny dragons, and rat dragons that were balloon animals, and dragons got wings, and they also became skeletons. And then there was the imperial dragon, and he stood up, and that was really cool. And we had an Easter dragon with Easter eggs, and and feathers on it and there were dragons under the sea and dragons with three heads and dragons with three heads and wings it just keeps getting crazier dragons got bigger because printers are getting bigger maybe too big Whew. and of course we cannot forget man with this cute little spaceman this is a lot of models. I do educational content on 3D printing, 3D printers, and 3D printing filament. And if you're interested and inspired by this, you can print them too if you choose to get a 3D printer. Now, all of these are gonna go to local children, but 3D printers are getting less expensive and better, and the 3D printing filament is getting more exciting. So if you're interested in 3D printing, do your research, see what you can find out, and check 3D printing out. <laughs>